Um, this poem is called Outpatient Procedure. The dawn would be nice if it didn't arrive so early. I don't know why I rarely want what I can have. There's a logic to animals and to tumbleweed assembly lines, reconfigured between shifts to produce Escalade interiors. But it doesn't quench my addiction to you, as a family of civilian ghosts phase shifts through the fog lights, piercing an olive garden parking lot. Switch the camera over to movie mode. My favorite bartender storyboarded the decline of the rural gentry while clearing away the empties. The remaining spills dribble uphill at $100 a barrel, like buying a whole CD to hear one love song or renting a lifeboat by the hour in the Arctic. I used to be the person in my building who dragged the trash curbside each week. A hand moves across the sky. I already said that I've made mistakes, though they don't include spot ironing wrinkles out of the matches stored next to the kerosene and feeding strays with the other neighborhood housewives while performing the rain dance. I fade just a little bit when your star goes away. It could be midnight madness in the middle of the day and still remain quiet. But these used hospital slippers fit the system of the individual watching dirty bathwater swirl down the drain. There goes our safe space, ignoring a knock at the door. Children don't give up on love and say, where will the snow carry you? After 9-11, I felt frozen in place and didn't leave the city for almost a year. Then the police came to take away the pain. This is the first poem in the book. The World One Summer. The day was still, but the animals were moving. We took a number and stood in line. Sometimes the wounded land softly, and sometimes with a thud. Holes in the roof shine like stars. A cake sat out on the counter for too long. We were pinched between big machines. A fleet of cargo ships stretches from the harbor to the sea. The city's walls keep me company. Give the Grammy to the sampler, it earned it. My daughter fixes the sun to the sky. It's frequently a bore to hear people narrate their dreams. Small scars around the eyes map hunger and distraction. That's how the dining experience came to be called splatter. You said it all felt very post-disco. Sitcoms are funnier without any sound. But in the quiet of the night, I occasionally hear weeping. I was thinking as I was trying to figure out which poems to read that I was hoping everyone would buy the book for. <laughs> I read some downer poems. <laughs> I promise there's plenty of ecstatic moments in here. You just got to get into the room. Coolant system. It's not heroic, it's broken. It's the silent trip between unspokens. We recognize the architecture, but don't name it. We take a place amid the holes resembling pink dots inside our father's hearts. All the little words don't even reach the doorbell. Some people are awake in the middle of the night. Some are at the bathroom sink, rinsing and spitting. There's a PowerPoint presentation for just about anything, and a personalized ringtone to alert us when the war is calling. It's the sound of beds being dragged across an orphanage floor. The next ice age will fill the rivers with antifreeze. It's the midway point of a sugar packet's half-life, spoon-fed in time-lapse with porn made to order. I still briefly pause when I hear an airplane flying low. The police helicopters are more used to, as an ebbing river of concrete reveals a beach strewn with Mardi Gras necklaces hurled at the Superdome. We change the sheets for the next set of guests. We live with contradictions. At a benefit for eating off of plasma TVs, my gift bag contained a woman's razor and chocolate-covered pretzels. <laughs> Yours was filled with Play-Doh and a snorkel. <laughs> Initial programming includes episodes of Pimp My Ride for self-propelled cyborgs randomly chosen for modifications after fending off drunks swinging gravy labels. Donkeys do well in a semi-arid desert. Manny or Mandy, who will heal the healers? Someone smeared a label warning, do not ingest. Clouds move quickly ahead of the front and a rush to close the windows. Normally I'd say it was a good thing we were home, 
where worn out shoes are left curbside with the other paper and plastic recycling. Thanks a lot.